In Paradiso, the final part of Dante Alighieri's epic poem, The Divine Comedy, the poet embarks on a celestial journey through the nine spheres of heaven. Structured around the theological concept of the divine, this part serves as the culmination of Dante's pilgrimage, where he ascends through various levels of paradise, encountering different souls and witnessing the divine glory. The structure of Paradiso is meticulously organized, mirroring the heavenly spheres and reflecting the divine order. Each sphere represents a specific virtue and is inhabited by blessed souls embodying that virtue. Through vivid descriptions and encounters with historical and mythological figures, Dante crafts a celestial realm that reflects divine perfection and harmony. Central to Paradiso is Dante's encounter with his beloved Beatrice, who serves as his guide through heaven. Beatrice symbolizes divine grace and represents the ideal of beauty and spiritual enlightenment. Through her guidance, Dante gains deeper insight into the nature of divine love and the ultimate purpose of human existence. The imagery in Paradiso is rich and evocative, painting a vivid picture of celestial splendor. Dante employs intricate allegories and metaphors to convey profound theological concepts, merging the earthly with the divine. His descriptions of the heavenly spheres, angelic beings, and radiant light evoke a sense of awe and wonder, inviting readers into a transcendent realm beyond the limitations of earthly existence. Throughout his journey, Dante engages in philosophical and theological discourse with the souls he encounters. These discussions delve into topics such as the nature of God, the soul, free will, and the order of the universe. Through these dialogues, Dante explores complex theological ideas, offering readers a profound exploration of faith and spirituality. Paradiso also serves as a culmination of Dante's moral and spiritual growth. As he ascends through the spheres, he undergoes a transformation, shedding his earthly flaws and purifying his soul. His journey represents the human quest for spiritual fulfillment and union with the divine. One of the striking aspects of Paradiso is Dante's use of numerical symbolism and geometric patterns to convey divine order and perfection. The numerical significance of nine, representing the divine harmony, is evident in the structure of the spheres and the celestial hierarchy. The poem's language is lyrical and elevated, reflecting the divine nature of the subject matter. Dante's use of terza rima, a poetic form characterized by interlocking three-line stanzas, adds musicality and rhythm to the narrative, enhancing its beauty and depth. Ultimately, Paradiso culminates in Dante's mystical vision of the Divine Presence. His encounter with the ultimate reality, the beatific vision of God, transcends human comprehension. Through a blend of poetic imagination and spiritual insight, Dante offers a glimpse into the ineffable and leaves readers contemplating the mysteries of faith and the divine. In conclusion, Paradiso stands as a magnum opus of medieval literature, offering a profound exploration of the divine, spiritual growth, and the ultimate quest for union with God. Dante's poetic vision, intricate symbolism, and philosophical depth make Paradiso a timeless masterpiece that continues to inspire readers to contemplate the mysteries of the divine and the nature of existence.